very important documentation that is needed in order to start your flight and that you need before you start your flight in order to see what is happening up there where you are going to be flying. Hello everyone again in the briefing room where you prepare your lessons, your flights here in European Aviation School. We are now going to explain how to get NOTAMs, how to get notification to airmen. Very, very important documentation that is needed in order to start your flight and that you need before you start your flight in order to see what is happening up there where you are going to be flying. In order to do that, we're going to go to Enaires Icaro XXI application or Icaro 21, I guess it is, application. And this application, uh, you, you have to actually enter Icaro, I Icaro's website or application in the mobile phone and app and tablet. And then once you log in with your username and password, you have a screen kind of like this. Now, where do you go once you are inside? Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go log out. So we're gonna go to Google Chrome first, which is the preferred one that I use. Then we're gonna go to Icaro and you have a page like this. This is the, the, the initial page for Icaro 21. Now it says, welcome to Icaro, select the application language. I'm gonna use it in English, but you also have Spanish here if you want. And as you can see, you can download it on the App Store or get it on Google. If you are not a user, you can create a user, but in this case, we're going to use, we're going to use EAS Barcelona login and we are inside. So now we are actually on the Icaro's main page once you have logged in. In order to get no times, you're going to go to bulletin requests. And in the bulletin request here, you have what kind of bulletin are you looking for? Information type. In this case, we're going to get aeronautical, which is the no times, but we will, we're also going to be wanting meteorological and maybe even snow time if needed. But in this case, let's only go with aeronautical, which is the no terms that we want. And we're going to be looking for BFR and IFR. In this case, I always like to get information from both IFR and BFR uh, rule uh, bulletins, no terms, but you can choose as well. Now, what is the active information that you want? Information from the last one day, two days, three days, 30 days, all information, you're going to choose that there. And then you're going to choose the valid period of time. So in this case, today we are the 13th of January and we want the information from the 13th of January, let's say from 10 Zulu time to 23.59 Zulu time. That's the valid period of time that I'm going to be flying. So that's the, uh, the valid period of time that I want to get the notams for. What do I want to see? I want the operational chapter the warning chapter and the miscellaneous chapter. I want information from aerodromes, information from route, and information from the area that I'm flying. And my limit is going to be from the lower surface limit to 999 to the upper limits. Next thing we're going to go is down here and we're going to choose whether we want aerodrome information, area information, route information, what do we want? In this case, we'll, we'll request two types of bulletins. We will start with a area bulletin. So the area that we're going to be looking for today is Lima Echo Charlie Bravo, which is the Barcelona, the Barcelona flight information area. So we're going to go to area and then inside area, we're going to go into the flight information region, which is Foxtrot India Romeo. And we're going to put Lima Echo Charlie Bravo. Once we put this here, we're going to press in, pr in plus and we, it's going to be included. This is the cow indicator for Barcelona flight information area. We're going to accept and it says the operation has been correctly performed. The start date of validity has been updated to the current update. And then it gives you a code. You can check that code and go back to requested bulletins. That's where your bulletins that you've requested, aerodrome, meteorological, whatever, those are the, uh, the bulletins that are going to be, the ones that are going to be requested. So I'm going to say, okay, I want to request the bulletins that EAS, my user, has created from, let's say in this case, 10 to 11. I go to accept, and these are the ones that have been processed. This is my last one which is the aeronautical area bulletin for the no time of these last 30 days. And I'm going to be checking all of this extent information. These are 29 pages. So what we normally do, or what I like to do in order not to print 29 pages, is print four pages per sheet. That leaves us with 
only uh, only four sheets of paper and we're going to go ahead and print that and now we're going to request another bulletin as you can see we're already printing the printers working and we're going to do the same aeronautical ifr bfr all information period of time from 10 o'clock it's a little bit later now, but 10 o'clock to third time today. Operational warning, miscellaneous aer aerodromes. And now I'm actually going to get aerodrome information. Okay. So, for example, let's say we're flying to Girona. So, and we're, of course, leaving from our base in Saladay. So, we're going to go here into the aerodrome and then the sub menu aerodrome. We're going to put Lima Eco, Lima Lima, plus Lima Eco, Golf Eco, plus. And then two alternatives, let's say Reus, Lima Eco, Romeo, Sierra Plus, and Lima Eco, Delta, Alpha Plus. You can even put other aerodromes like Ampuria Brava, Lima Eco, Alpha Papa, and even La Seu d'Urgell, let's say. And then we go again to accept, and it says again that the operation has been correctly performed. My bulletin identifier finishes with 511. So I go to requested bulletins, I press from, let's say all day today, the 13th of January, except, and I have to look into which is the one that I processed, that, that I did and is processed. And it's this one here that I did three minutes ago from all these aerodromes. So I'm gonna go press on top of it, wherever you want. And again, these are eight pages. We're going to be printing them four pages. Uh, it's, it's actually uh, eight sheets of paper, but we're going to be only needing one because we're going to be using uh, two sheets of paper on both sides of the paper. So once we have this, we go to the printer and we already have our notams that we can actually now check. In another video, we can actually talk about how to look into notams specifically. Let us know in the comments if you want that as an extra video. At this point, what I'm going to be doing is basically looking into my area. So Alicante is not my area, but Barcelona is. Uh, see what is going on in Barcelona, in Lleida, in Murcia, in Menorca. Any area I want to know what is happening. Let me know what you think about these videos in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.